Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have some boxers here on the table I have gotten some fan mail and I do also have some things that I bought myself and we're just gonna have a look at those just because I was gonna take them out of the packages anyway I do usually open them up because all of my colleagues are very curious of what I'm getting so um, they always get to see it first but the fan mail I haven't opened that yet so we're gonna go into that. I do also wanna thank some people that has donated to my channel. I do know what's in one of these packages, so we will probably end out, out in the data center at the end of this video because there's something here that needs to be installed. I'm gonna start with this top one, which is um, kind of a less manly thing. I've actually gone to China and bought some, um, some things to apply makeup. From time to time I'm all red in the face so I have something out in the bathroom to cover that up and I used to have a little sponge to put it on but as that little sponge got old I got all it, it started crumbling and I had all kind of shit in my head I'm not wearing any covering things right now but well it's a lot easier to just buy this in China than going down to your local makeup store I'm sure this is gonna last me for many years. I only had one of these, one single slice, and that I used that for at least a year until it wasn't good anymore. So also, come on, come on. Oops. got two small packages here, and they're also from China, and I didn't pay much for these, I remember. Three dollars, so pretty cheap. These are very related to what I am doing right now, because right over here is a lamp and sometimes back we put a we put an led a dimmable i can actually try that i can do this on video because i have some problems with some noise here and we can we can turn that on and now i will be hearing the sound if this is what's doing all the noises in my video so but that one was changed to an LED. This one was not, that's still a normal light bulb. So I bought some LED ones. And I was just gonna try and put one of those in. I bought two of them, just if one of them was faulty. Here's the old one, here's the new one. It looks similar. Let's put it in and see what happens. Oh. This has the LED problem with dimmable. It's actually off right now. Oh, I don't like that much. It makes noises. Can you hear that? But also, because it uses so little power, I can't turn it off. The power supply is so bad in these things that well, they let through enough power for the LED to light up. I'll just try the other one, it might be better. Probably just the same thing, but might have a winner. Okay, well, so these balls was really probably not the best, uh, not the best buy I've ever done, but well, I had to try it and it was like three dollars. Um, talking about dollars, I got some donations. I would like to send a thank you to Christian from the United States for donating to me back in mid-February. Thank you very much to Christian. Sadly enough, PayPal took a lot of that donation, but well. And also yesterday, 1st of April, my good subscriber Eric, also from the United States, also donated a very nice amount to my PayPal thinky. Thank you very much, Eric. I hope you enjoyed my April Fool video. I had a lot of fun making that stuff up. And Eric likes my server videos the best, so luckily we are going out there later. Let's go on to the packages. I'll get rid of these. And this first package is from Colored Egg Farms. That's the subscriber name who sent it. And the name is Jermit. Jermite. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right. I do think it's from the United States because there's a United States 
postage stamp on it and whew, this has cost $33.95 to send here. Yikes! I'm very grateful for this package. It's You've used so much money sending that. Thank you very much. That's awesome, but expensive. So let's, let's see if we can get in here. I wonder how you do that. Okay. And there's a letter for me. Yeah, greetings from the United States. And I remember that I was actually talking to Colored Egg Farms about this. And he said that he had sent this the 25th of March. And I received this the 30th of March. So this is, um, this is two processors. I know. I did do some some chatting with Mr. Carladeg Farms. They're really well wrapped. <laughs> really, really well wrapped. And this is a very nice Intel Xeon E5450. This is a quad core 3 gigahertz processor. And this one should be just like it. Okay, I'll just read some of this. Dear Morton, greetings from USA. My name is Jared and I'm a chicken farmer slash truck driver from Pennsylvania. I love watching your videos after work. You got me to buy my own server to play around with. I have learned a lot from you, including why I should virtualize my servers. I picked up three Dell Blade servers to upgrade a few of my other servers. I have five Dell 2950s. I did a video on those a little bit back. <laughs> and he writes, yes, the ones you don't like. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and he is not gonna be using all the processors. So instead of them just sitting on the shell, he sent me a couple. So, so thank you very much to Jeremy for sending me these two awesome CPUs. I'm gonna be doing I have been thinking about this because I knew they were coming, so I've been thinking about doing a test. I do have uh, this CPU's Big Brother, the X series, and I would really love to see how much, what's the performance differences between two of these and two of the X series. The X series are the X 5450s, and these are the E 5450s. So these should probably be a little bit slower, but how much? In a later video, I would also like to see if maybe this overclocks better than the X series. That would be rather interesting. Thank you very much. So the next package, uh, this is from Christoph in Germany, Frankfurt. Christoph has been chatting with me about sending me a rather big package and he wanted to test if I would get the package he sent because he was gonna send me a really big one and he wanted to test it out first. So. Uh, I know what the big one is gonna be, but I have no idea what this is. That's, this was gonna be a surprise. And um, so therefore I'm as surprised as you are. We have a letter for me. Hi Morton, I hope to find you well. Thank you for your videos. It is fun to watch them. Keep up the good work. If you need some... Okay, I, I can't read the rest because that would spoil the next package. And, well, I'm not gonna reveal that yet. And I do believe we have some... Some server things here. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that was, that was all. I'm wondering what this is. I haven't got the faintest idea. Oh! <laughs> that's... So cool. I got memory blocks. Two gigabytes DDR2 RAM. Oh, what is that? This looks really old, doesn't it? I will have to go see what that is. I've never seen that before. And they are also two gigabytes. Wow. HP. That's gonna be interesting to see what that will fit in. Ooh. 
Uh oh. Something has lost some capacitors. Capacitors in shipping. They dropped out of this box. I do believe that it might be this one. Yeah. One of the capacitors has fallen off this one. So I need to be careful about that. You can see here small SMD capacitors just came off the memory blocks. I could maybe solder them on again. So here we are. I'll just see if I can find the other memory block where this has fallen off. There it is. This one has lost a capacitor right there. So we're gonna put that over there. These are good. Those two probably, I, can, I will try and sort of those back. I'll check what, what this memory is good for and solder it back. Apparently those two are alike and all of these are another kind. Yeah, these are one gigabyte blocks. These are two gigabyte blocks and all of these are two gigabyte blocks. Thank you very much. Stuff and I think this might be a couple of CPUs. Oh, and it's 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 still secret. <laughs> I'm gonna find something to wipe that off with. A piece of paper here. We're gonna take off this heating adhesive stuff. Find out what CPU we got here. This is a Intel Xeon 5130 and it's a two gigahertz dual core processor. Thank you very much. And all the capacitors are still there. <laughs> very nice. I would probably guess that this one is, uh, is its brother, twin brother. Yeah, this one is exactly the same. Intel Xeon 5130, two gigahertz, four megabytes of cache, and it runs with a front side bus frequency of 1.333 gigahertz. Thank you very much. I do believe that we can go out into the data center and um, install some processors. Thank you very much, Christoph from Frankfurt for all the awesome stuff. Also this last week I had the chance to work with another YouTuber and he has a channel called Tech Hole Productions and this is the this is the site he has and he makes really awesome funny videos he's hilarious I wish I was as funny as him he asked me sometimes back to do a little piece for a video that he was going to be doing and this is the video that I did for him oh. I made a little clip and he was working on a server video. He was going to build a server that was going to be using under a hundred watts. And I got to make a little fun of that. So um, go check that out. Give me a comment. I've written a comment in the video so you can go like that. So please do check him out. He is funny. So let's go into the server room and put in some CPUs in some. I'm going to put them in some blade servers. Okay, here are the CPUs that I'm going to be installing in three different blade servers. First I have the one from Christoph, and these are the Intel Xeon 5130s. And these are dual core 2 GHz processors. Over here we have the processors from Jarrett in the United States, Pennsylvania. And these are quad core 3 GHz processors, and they are the E5450. And over here is a couple of my processors, and these are very similar to these. These are also 3 GHz quad cores, but these are the X5450s. So we're gonna see the difference between these two. That's actually the primary go. What's the difference between this processor and this processor? And I really wanna see if you get anything for your money. 
if you get an X series compared to an E series. We're gonna be putting these in some blade servers and do some render tests. Here is a blade server. We're gonna be putting in Jerry's CPUs in this one. And that's because this blade is a model that can do the 5400 series. We turn that around. There is two kinds of system boards in these. One of the system boards can do the 5300 series and the other one can go up to the 5400 series. And it depends on the system board in the system here. So I'll go get a screwdriver and we can take this apart. To take the processors out we need to, to take the front of the server out a little bit. There is two blue things here to, to do that. Right. Come on like this because the heat sinks go in go in here it's a bit hard to get that out otherwise so we'll unscrew this and I'm doing a little bit at the time so the heat sink does not go up on one side and maybe damage the processor And I will go outside and remove this because I don't want the dirt in here. Okay, I took the processors out. They're over here. Both of them cleaned them up a bit. Don't want dirty processors in my storage. And it seems that this blade server has originally come with one processor and then it has been upgraded with one more. And these are the Intel Xeon Quad Cores E5420s. We are gonna be upgrading this. Oh, and these are 2.5 gigahertz. So we are gonna be upgrading them to three gigahertz with these two processors that Jemit sent me from the United States. So we'll be putting those in and those go that way. that and I'll put on some some new heating adhesive here and put the heat sinks back on that are also clean and the reason I can kind of see that well the processor in here is an add-on because there is two different heat sinks on here too I'm gonna end the video here, I put in Gemite's processors and I'm gonna be doing a comparison video with rendering some... I'm probably gonna do the Hummer again because it's just the easiest thing to do and see what the, the difference is between the two processor types. And I'm also gonna be putting in the, the 2.0 dual cores to have something to compare that with. So stay tuned for that video, it's gonna be probably next. Because I'm, I'm kind of doing this, I'm kind of just keeping this video going out into the next one. I have to reach out the camera though. But um, thank you very much for watching my videos and thank you very much for sending me packages, donations and also to take hold productions for letting me be a part of your videos as well. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.